of the trachea. And what you'll see is on the top of the trachea, up here, this is your epithelial layer over here. And so this would be the opening to your airspace where you breathe. So the first layer of cells up here, you know that in the trachea, what type of epithelium is it? Pseudostratified, ciliated columnar epithelium. So that's the top layer. Epithelial cells always sit on top of what kind of cells? Anybody else? Yeah. It's, it's called lamina propria. Okay? I think you guys need to know that's what it's called. Okay? So you have your epithelial cells on top, then your layer of lamina propria. Okay? And these round structures here, there are three of them. Right here, one, two, three, and then the one over there. Those are what's called several mucus glands. And then there's a blank space here. Don't worry about what that blank space is. That's just the way that the slide preparation was. But I'll come down a little bit more into this layer. And everybody should be able to recognize this from Bio 107. Hyaline. And that's hyaline cartilage. Exactly. So we'll go through the layers again. So we in trachea, top layer. You have the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium that sits on top of lamina propria. The round structures in the next in that layer also is serum mucus glands, and then everything sits on top of hyaline cartilage. Any questions? Good. Let's go to the next one. On every part of the slide to look at it. All right, I'll take I'll take us through step by step. So this is a slide of the lung. First thing you need to be able to identify on the lung is or are bronchioles. And there are two bronchioles here that I'm going to show you. The first one is actually, I'll put it right in the middle of the screen. It's this thick walled area it's this, that fills in on this part. That's a cross section of a bronchiole. You can see it's more round shaped. And if I go back over to this area, you'll see that this thicker walled area here it's more of a longitudinal cross section or a longitudinal section of a bronchiole. Okay? So that's the first thing you need to know are bronchioles. The next thing that you need to know on in the lung, you need to know that there are things called alveolar ducts. And anytime you see a nice long open space like this, that's called the alveolar duct. It's running this way. Okay? At the end of the alveolar duct, you have what's called an alveolar sac. So this would be the duct coming down here. And this whole area here would be the alveolar sac. And then you also need to identify individual alveoli. And so anytime you see either these round shapes here, there's a whole one right over there. Another one over here, and then even in the alveolar sacs, it's kind of just a cross section or a, a side view of those alveoli. Okay? Any questions on that? I'll do a, a full run through again. So, again, it's the lung. You have your bronchioles, you have your alveolar ducts, which are the long open runs. At the end of the alveolar duct is the alveolar sac. And then you have the individual alveoli, also all the small structures. So are these circles yeah. so, some of these are more circular here. Yeah. There's another whole one here. It's just the way that it's cut really in the sample is. So these are all alveoli. Right. Right, right there. Okay. 
Everyone good? Anybody know what this is by looking at it? Stomach. Okay, this is the stomach. Um, Can you turn the light down on that a little bit? Right down, yes. The stain on the slide isn't very pink. Not very much of anything. <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay. When you're looking at two different areas of the digestive tract, the first one you have to look at is the stomach. And then the next one is going to be the duodenum or the duodenum, which is, of course, the first part of the small intestine. The way you're going to be able to tell the difference between the two areas, because they both have the same cell layers, is if you look at the innermost layer, which is called the mucosa, okay? In the stomach, you're going to have nice round shapes up here. They're out pockets. Those are the, anybody remember what those are called? Those holes in the stomach? No, okay. Don't worry, well, I'm not going to get you confused. But anyway, you have nice round folds in the stomach here. When we're looking at the duodenum or the duodenum, because they have villi, which are those finger like projections, it's going to look a lot more spiky in that layer. Okay, so these nice gentle folds, that lets you know that it's the stomach. Okay? There are a few different layers that you need to know about in the stomach. The first layer, the top layer, this would be the area over here where in, it's the inside of your stomach where food would be. So the first layer is just slightly pink stained. This is the mucosa layer. Okay? And then you'll see that there's a nice, it's a tan band. It's a thick or a dense band. It's a thin one that goes just along the inside of the mucosa. Everybody see that? Okay, that's called your muscularis mucosae or mucosa. Okay? Just below that band, you'll see it's a little more hollow looking over here. This is all submucosa. So it's this layer that runs starting here and ending over there. This is all submucosa. And then where it starts to get nice and dense again over on this side, this is the muscularis externa. All right. So running through the layers again, pink layer, mucosa, this dense band is the muscularis mucosae. This next layer is submucosa. And then out here is muscularis externa. I'll get to it. Absolutely. You need to know gastric pits, and you need to know about simple columnar epithelium, and you need to know about lamina propria. Correct? Yeah. Okay. But we're not going to be able to see that on this magnification. We need to go to a higher magnification. Okay. So what I'm going to do is when I start magnifying, I'm going to bring us right to these areas in here, okay? These folds in the stomach. And these are going to be within the mucosa. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. We're going to go in even more. So now, this is, again, the opening of the stomach, where all your food is be, and this is the start of the mucosa, okay? All of these in pockets, those are your gastric pits, okay? The gastric pits, you'll see the epithelial cells that are lining the gastric pits. Those are simple columnar epithelium. See how they look nice and columnar shape, like column shape? Right? And then, as we know, epithelium cells sit on top of lamina propria. So everything back here is lamina propria. 
and it even extends outward over the year. So it's a darker stained area. That's all laminar propria. And then this way and this way. And then all your columnar, simple columnar epithelium sit on top of the laminar propria. So everybody good with that? Okay, so you're not going to be able to see the gastric pits, the simple columnar epithelium, or the laminar propria until you really get to this magnification here. Okay. And that is the stomach. Any questions before I move on? So the next slide we'll do is the duodenum or duodenum, however you choose to pronounce that. Find it. Okay, so the way that this slide is oriented all the way up here would be the opening inside of your small intestine. And so the first layer just is in the stomach, so this nice pink layer up here would be called what layer? Mucosa. Okay. You'll notice, remember before, the stomach had those nice round kind of shapes of the mucosa. We're here because the intestines have villi. So those out pockets, those fingers, each of these little spike structures that you see are those out pockets called villi. Okay? So you need to know what those are. So top layer again is mucosa. This slide itself, I'm going to probably have to just go to a higher magnification, but just under the mucosa, you'll see a dense band. It's a solid, more solid looking dense band that's running just under the mucosa, the thin layer. That again is your muscularis mucosae. And then it opens up to this layer from here to here. And that layer is the submucosa. And then below the submucosa, when it gets more dense looking again, that's the muscularis external. Okay, so again, mucosa up here, muscularis mucosae is a thin band. Then submucosa and then muscularis externa. Okay. There are a few more things that you need to know on this slide, but in order to see them well, we're going to have to go to a higher magnification. All right, so we're starting to zoom in um, on the mucosa layer. And what we're going to look at is this structure here, and this is just one individual villi. And we're going to go in a little further. <coughs> 